Hello, um, this is going to be a short tutorial on how to set up the big cat avatar base that I um, launched recently. Uh, let's get started. First, you're going to create a new avatar project, avatar unity project in the VRChat creator companion. So up here in the top right, create a new project, select avatars 2022, name it whatever, and put it in a safe location. Once you have your project created, um, the required packages is Poyomi Toon Shader, VRC Fury, and GoGo Loco. I'm going to have links to those um, in the description, and there are links in the Gumroad um, product description as well. Um, so be sure to add those to your project before anything. So I'm going to open up the project now. All right, now that we have our Unity project open, I'm going to right click here in the Assets folder, Import Package, Custom Package, and I am going to import uh, the Big Cat uh, Unity Package. And I'm going to import everything, give it a few seconds to um, grab all the files. All right, cool. Um, so now you're going to have this folder called Skip4D, and in it there will be a Big Cat folder. Um, and within, you're going to see all these folders. Um, let's open up the scene by double clicking on it, and you're going to find a scene that I've set up with all of the prefabs. In Blender, I opened up the Big Cat Blender file. Um, Please use 4.2 or above. In theory, this should work on any Blender version, um, but I made it using 4.2, so that is the recommended version. Um, so uh, there's only one rig, so we're not concerned with joining multiple rigs together. Um, Basically, you are going to go through all of these meshes that I've prepared and build out your avatar. Um, so there are ears, hairs, uh, cheeks, fluff, tails, mane, accessories. Um, what I recommend is always having the accessories on so then the animations will work in Unity. If you decide that you don't want any of these accessories, um, then don't join them to your mesh. Um, you can leave it out, it's fine. Uh, just be aware that some animations in Unity might be broken. Um, if you know what you're doing, I'm sure uh, you can go ahead and fix that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to um, create my avatar here. Um, just by hiding and unhiding um, these meshes, and I will give further instructions after afterwards. All right, um, so I'm happy with how this looks. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to control click all of these meshes, and I am going to save the body for last. So the body should be the last thing that you select because we want the we want all of these names to inherit all of these meshes to inherit the body name uh, which requires that to be the last thing selected. So let's go ahead and just start from the bottom. I am holding down control and clicking on everything that I want to include. Uh, and then I'm selecting the body last. Um, right clicking and hitting join. So we only have one mesh here, which is all on the body, which is good. I'm going to unhide my armature here. I'm going to select, shift select the armature and then the body mesh. I'm going to go to file, export as an FBX. And our export settings are going to be very important. Okay, so I'm going to select limit to selected objects. Apply scaling FBX all. This is the most important um, 
setting, by the way. Uh, this is going to adjust our Blender scale to match the Unity scale. So if you miss this and you import your um, FBX into Unity and all your fizz bones are giant and everything's broken, this is probably why you've probably missed this. So make sure that you set apply scalings to FBX all. Um, under armature, I'm going to uncheck add leaf bones and I'm also going to uncheck animation here. Um, now we are going to uh, override a very specific FBX in the Unity project. So let's find where this lives. So in the FBX folder in the Unity project, um, you're going to find all these blank uh, FBXs. So blank, blank one and blank two are going to be PC prefabs, those are these guys here, blank, blank one and blank two. And then these are quest prefabs, so um, these guys are going to be blank three, four, and five. So I am going to just grab big cat blank, I'm going to right click, show this in the explorer. I'm just going to copy the address here paste it here, big cat blank. And I'm going to select it so that we're overwriting it. Big cat blank, we're gonna export the FBX, tab into Unity, and you can see that this prefab automatically updated with our selections. And so this is the prefab that we're going to be working with. I'm gonna find it in the prefab folder, blank, PC blank open. Give this a few seconds. All right, so our hierarchy here is on the left hand side, and our inspector here is on the right hand side. Uh, we basically don't need to mess with anything in the inspector um, or the VRChat avatar description. I've already filled all of this stuff out for you guys, so you don't really need to touch it. Um, what we do need to do now is um, look at the fizz bones. So these are all of the possible fizz bones. Um, we need to trim this so that we optimize our avatar a little bit better. Um, and the way that we do that is just by deleting uh, the ones for the meshes that we are not using. So we do have the toony ears. Uh, so that means the pointy ears and the line ears I'm going to delete. I'm just going to control uh, click them and delete them. We're not using a long tail, so I'm also going to delete that. Leave the nub tail, whiskers, toes. Uh, we are using the big hair, so I'm going to leave that. Then I can get rid of all the other hairs. And I'm also not using the chest, so goodbye. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to apply our materials to our avatar. And the fastest way to do that would be to duplicate the blank materials that I've set up and then just swapping your textures out. Um, so let's do that really fast. Um, so I'm going to go into the material folder, PC, um, and the materials that you should grab are accessories, blank body, and then basically these three blank body, blank ears, tails, and hair, and blank mane. Um, since I am not using any of the main um, meshes, I'm going to leave that out. But if you are making a lion or something that uses the mane or any of those meshes, then you would grab um, this material as well. Um, also, if you created um, new textures for any of the accessories, you would also grab this material and duplicate that and apply that one to your avatar. Um, I have not done that, so I am not going to be doing that. So I'm just going to grab these two materials um, and I'm going to do Control D to duplicate. And um, for the sake of organization, I'm going to create a folder all the way out here. So let's create a folder called, you can name this whatever. 
I'm just going to call this uh, Tasha, which is my character, and then tutorial. Um, and I'm going to grab my materials. Let's grab, yeah, my materials, and I'm just going to drag them into my folder here. All right, and let's rename these Tasha. Okay. Um, and so basically we are going to be replacing the texture, the main texture, and we are also going to be replacing, um, the emission map texture. So, um, I'm not going to be going over how to texture your character. Um, there are plenty of tutorials online about that. Um, but I am going to import my textures now and okay. So let me quickly, uh, drag and drop this texture here and the emissive goes into the emission map. Same thing for the ears and the tail. Cool. And then I am going to apply them by dragging and dropping and do control S to save the prefab. Sweet. And now we have our textures applied to our character. Um, the last thing that we are going to do is we are going to edit the blend shapes. So if you select the body in the hierarchy, um, in the inspector, there is going to be a blend shape section and a little carrot. Um, let us expand the carrot and then scroll down to where it says uh, customization here. And so all these blend shapes you can use to customize your avatar. There may be a few more down at the bottom depending on which meshes you joined into the body. So other anything under other adjust is also uh, free. You are free to adjust. Um, but if you touch any of the, these others, um, they might mess up an animation. So I would recommend not touching them unless you know what you're doing. Something to keep in mind is that um, your accessories, the tank top, the thigh highs, the septum, and the bandana should always be hidden. So if you... Oh, I, I forgot to apply the accessories material, so that's a good thing um, that I caught that. So let's quickly search for the accessories material and just apply that really fast. And save that. Sweet. Okay, um, yes, uh, these should always be hidden, so the blend shape should always be 100, um, because they start off, off, and then in the game you have the ability to turn each um, part on separately, so. Alright, I've uh, customized my avatar with some blend shapes as you can see, um, it's looking good to me. I'm going to control S save this one last time. Um, exiting the prefab and that's about it. Now you are free to upload to VR chat. Um, if you get any red errors here, just select auto fix and it should be good to go. Um, yeah, it's really that simple. Um, and I hope that you have fun and you enjoy the big cat. I had a lot of fun, um, revisiting my very first avatar base and I'm really happy with, um, the progress I've made, um, in the past few years. And I hope that it's obvious, um, the amount of time and effort that I've put into this new model. And yeah, really looking forward to what um, you guys make. And yeah, let me know what you think. If you would like to request any other features or parts, 
Um, I'm happy to keep updating this for a while longer. And yeah, join the Discord if you have more um, questions, comments, praise for me and the awesome work that I did. Um, if you have anything bad to say, I don't want to hear about it. So yeah, just keep it to yourself. And But if you have anything good to say, join the Discord. Uh, tag me until I see it. And yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoy and bye.